Okay, we're gonna dump some apples. Mmm. Our bottom layer. Six. And apple filling. Let's move it out. And we're gonna take a can of crescent rolls. Ooh. Layer down, take the other layer, put it down, do this little strip right there. Then we're going to take some uh, cinnamon sugar, a little bit of dust the dough with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to take our second can of the apple. Well, those are like whole apples in there. Yeah. Just a quick, simple. And we're gonna take the rest of our crescent roll. Yeah, this is a very okay. easy little dessert. Yeah. Just something quick. Mm-hmm. And you top it with ice cream after, I'm sure. Yes. Okay, let's get some more cinnamon sugar on it. We're gonna bake it, 350. We'll check it at 20 minutes. Okay, Ooh. just add a few little dollops or what you'll call mm -hmm. them, butter. Might make that crust really good and tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, put your butter on it. Mm -hmm. let's get it in the 350. You're gonna do it for about 20 minutes and check That's out it. I can see how this one looks. It looks uh, beautiful. Yes, it does. I don't even need apples much, but I believe I might have to try this. Look how the butter oh, melted the butter, on the top. Yeah, look at that. This is just some stuff we had in the cabinet. I know, just cabinet dessert. Ooh, that looks so good. That looks good. Can't wait to top it. All right, we got our okay. apple pie. Dip us out a little piece here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. Nice and layered. Yes. And then you're gonna add some vanilla ice cream. Look at that. We got Bluebell, mm. the best ice cream around. Mmm. Well, let's try this. It's a little hot. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, tastes good. Mmm. Take one and a half sticks of melted butter. Okay. Put in the bottom of your casserole Looks dish. Looks good. The butter is just for taste, I guess, or? Um, yeah, butter is good in anything. Butter good in anything. Matter. It looks like it. Yeah, you take a bowl, and we're going to do one and a half cups of self-rising. Self Make sure it's self-rising. It's got to be self-rising. One and a half cups, you said? Yes. Ooh, okay. Make sure it's self rising. You don't have that. You don't want your cobbler won't rise. Okay, there's one and a half cups of uh, self rising flour. Mm -hmm. And I need one and one fourth cup sugar. sugar. Okay. There's one. And two. And here's the fourth of cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to take that and just, just mix it up. Mix it kind of, yeah, mix it a little bit. Not with that, baby. You're going to use yours to another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to put. Um, one and three fourths tablespoon of cocoa. Cocoa, right here. Hershey's cocoa. I I buy Hershey brand too, though. Looks good. And this is a, a chocolate cobbler we're making. Yes, a chocolate cobbler. It is. I've had some. It is delicious. I cannot wait to see what the finished product looks okay, like. Okay, so now we get the cobbler. It is gonna look good. Cocoa stirred up in here. Cocoa. And when you're dealing with these dry ingredients, it does fly a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then when you put. Three fourths cup of whole milk. Whole milk, okay. Just dump it in there. Dump it in there. Like and two that. teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla, nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ice cream. Oh, you like vanilla yeah, ice cream? Ice cream, yeah. You know me what? too. Same this dessert is delicious with a scoop of vanilla mm -hmm. ice cream on top. It really is. Okay, just stir this all together. Does it matter? Does it need to be all the powder gone? Yes, okay. yes. Got it, this got it. is like the dumplings of a 
So you did a peach cob or something, the bread, oh. this is what this is. So oh, this is the breading of yeah. it, okay. That's why I said you sell fries and flour. You mm. Use them muscles and get it all stirred up good. Oh, that's looking good. Okay. Now, let that sit there for a minute. Okay. You're going to take a dip, another bowl. Another bowl. Right and you're going to take one and a half cups of sugar. Of sugar. Yep. Jameson's Wait, sugar. more sugar? Yes. <laughs> yes. What are we doing more sugar for? Oh, you'll see in a minute. We're putting it in here. Uh, yeah, one. Good job, Jameson. Let me get another half for you. Good job, bud. Okay, there's your half. Okay. And then we're going to take a fourth a cup, or no, half a cup of cocoa. Okay, so this is what, what are you doing here? Just more cocoa powder? Yes. Mm hmm. Oh, we're doing like a big old thing of yes, cocoa this time. Yes, this time we're so doing... This is kind of probably the thing that's being drizzled over the top or something? Yes, okay. We need one more of them, Jameson. Then go ahead and be using your... Use your thing to little mix it. Whisk. Looks good, Jameson. And this here measuring cup is a fourth, so... Oh, okay. And we need a half. So, we're going so two. two of those. Mm -hmm. Dump. Just mix it up. Okay, get that mix up that sugar real good. I don't need Oh, you don't need my help. Yes, so, oh, you almost got it. All right, so that's all whipped up and nice. Now what do we do, Kim? Okay, take your thing out. You and take, then you take this? You take your liquid. Mm-hmm. Jump on what I call And you just put it in all this. Oh, wow. So you just take your dumplings and chocolate? Yeah, I bet they're chocolate. pretty much just chocolate dumplings, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what you have to Delicious. Yeah, let's, all up in oh, there. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste any, man. Mm -mm. This stuff, when y'all taste it, mm, it is delicious. That's good. I've got all that out. We got this chocolate. Jameson, you want to lick this spoon? You want to lick the spoon? Okay, let me go on this. That looks good. Okay. Now, and, you, and then you take your little powder, your sugar powder. I now this I mean to do that because I might put hot water and I don't want you to get burned. You take Does it matter it. how you do this? You just scatter it no, all you over? Just scatter it. This just... is just sugar and cocoa powder. Yes. So this you dish is just out. pretty much <laughs> sugar, right? If you're diabetic, you might want to Sugar water. and bread. Hey, this is my hand. Okay, we'll get it on. And I know it does yes. look like, oh my goodness, how much are you? But you use a whole bowl sprinkling a across A whole here. bowl of sugar? Well, all these, that cup and a half oh of sugar. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Oh, but you can taste it. And I do that, then next, your final step is take two and a quarter cups of hot water. Extreme so boiling, you just go. Boiling water, and I have got. Water? Yeah, I have got this handy feature so I can use it. Nice. Okay, there's two. Boiling water. So you take your boiling water, uh -huh. pour it on top. Oh, what is that supposed to do? I'm not really sure other than it makes it delicious. Mm -hmm. It really gets the, like I don't know if you've made hot fudge cake before. Mm -hmm. All that good, juicy. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and then what do we do? We take it with the oven. Do you have to cover it or anything? Yeah. Or? Place it in the oven. Uncovered? Uncovered, like right, 350 <laughs> degrees. Mm-hmm. For about 40, 30 to 40 minutes. I think that okay. was 40. Blair, excuse us. Excuse us, Blair. Our helpers. Uh oh, helpers. Okay. And there we go. That's in there. <laughs> We're going to set it for 30. Check. All right. Let's open the oven. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. If you could just smell. Oh, goodness. Well, burn your fingers. Oh my gosh, Kim. Yes, baby. That looks really good. That looks good. It does smell good, doesn't it? You see it? Oh my gosh. That's right, and then you drizzle this over it. And there's your chocolate coupler. Wow. One box of that. Three egg whites, a half a cup of oil, and we are just going to mix that with some water.
half a cup, and we are good to go. All right, now that we've got that mix, we're gonna pour it into our greased baking dish, 13 by nine. Brown, so it's an even layer in our pan. What utensil are you using right there? I'm just using a plain spatula. Just a rubber spatula? It's a plain rubber spatula. Looks like I see some metal right there. Or aluminum, we don't need that, right? Then once we're done, I always get the air bubbles out. Get it Slam even. it one more time. We need to get it flat. Yeah, that's good. And, yep. then, what? and then into the oven at 350 for however long your cake mix package says. Probably about 25 minutes. All right, what do we got here? We got some instant lime jello. To that, we're going to add a cup of boiling water. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> And this is gonna be into our cake. We're gonna yeah. put this? Yes, for our poke cake. So we're gonna stir this until it's dissolved. It smells very strong. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's uh, St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And then after we get that mix dissolved, we're gonna add half a cup of cold water to kind of take down that temperature. And then once this is done, it's going to go into our cake after we poke some holes in it. There you go, babe. Look at that. That looks perfect. What a beaut. Our cake is cooled, so we're going to do some holes. That's like a perfect hole. How many are we supposed to do? We're making a poke cake. It's an even dispersed. Amount. What is this tool? Is that a screwdriver? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, nice. All right, we got the pokes done. We're gonna take our jello. Yeah, that's in our Polish pottery. Our lime jello and just pour it over the top. Oh, it's making over like some those cool designs. Holes. We'll get some over there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's already set some in there. Mm -hmm. We gotta scoop that out. Yeah. Scoop some of that jello out. Mmm. Don't like it, but maybe I'll like the cake. It's too concentrated right yeah. now. I think after it sets a little bit, it'd be good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and that'd be good. Into our holes. And, and then, then we just gotta let it chill. We're gonna put it in the fridge to cool so that jello hardens. Mm -hmm. yes. Look at it. Wow. Green. It's like St. Patrick's Day. Uh -huh. All right, now we're gonna take some extra creamy whipped topping. Mm. Mm. That mm. looks good. Get our Polish pottery ready. Look at that. I'm gonna spread it nice and evenly on top. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna take some green sprinkles because we're mm -hmm. keeping with the theme of a lime poke cake. Wow. Now that we got it all decorated pretty. It looks really good. Yeah, look at those little beads. We're going to cut us a nice slice. Mm -hmm. 
you see the insides? Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Mm. Take a bite. Oh, wow. It's so moist. Okay, we've got some devil foods. Cake mix. Mm. All that. Okay. And with that, then you need three eggs. Nice. A cup of water. A half a cup of Wesson oil. Let's stir that up. Cake all good and combined. Mm -hmm. Put in a 13 by 9 cake pan. I we'll have it good. Okay. Pour it in here. Mm. Okay, so let's get this baked. We're going to set our timer. While the cake is baking, we need to chop up some four sticker bars. Mm -hmm. Hey, those, I kind of like that sound. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. All right, so we got our Snickers done. This is oh. good. Oh, good, look good. Well, let me get a. Is it burn or is it chocolate? No, this is devil's food chocolate. Oh, you're right, you're right, 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 right. And it looks dumb. I'm gonna take the toothpick to make sure before mm. we put it on. Well, now you're gonna take and you're gonna poke holes mm. in here. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that we got all these holes in this devil food mm -hmm. cake, um, we're gonna take our caramel. Mm -hmm. We got the good day, yes. And we're gonna just squirt that. it. Oh. Uh Oh, just right in the holes? Yeah. Just put it all over here. I'm going to just go down where the holes are. Might as well. You'll need the whole bottle. Mm-hmm. 14 ounces of caramel. So Wait, the need. whole bottle? Look at that. Look at that caramel pop. Ooh. Why is it so runny? Is it heated up or is it just that no, type of caramel? Just, it's just that type of caramel. That is a layer of caramel yes. right there. Brand milk. You're kidding. No. We're going to take our Eagle brand milk and pour over it. So it's like sugar on top of sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Because doesn't Eagle brand milk make caramel? Yes. Oh, wow. That's going to be good. And then this will have to chill. For how long? Um, about an hour. Okay. Let it chill real good. Cause that stuff's gonna just melt in there, yes, yeah. Yes. Is that cool? Oh man. Oh, is that all seeped down in there? Mm-hmm. And then you take it, and you're gonna put some um, Snickers all about on it. Okay, so after you put a little layer of that, let's put mm -hmm. a couple over here on the side. You're gonna put on here. Mm. The rest of your Snickers, you're going to, first, let's take the caramel first. Oh, so we're gonna do a little caramel? Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of caramel. Just drizzle it. Ooh. This thing's going to be extra sweet. You don't have to do this. It's just add a little... Just a little extra caramel? Yeah. It's my favorite caramel. Oh, I love caramel. Okay, then take some more Snickers mm -hmm. and just toss them on it. I like that. Okay, and you're all done. Oh my gosh, that looks really good.